Nick Guerra works with several baseball players in his academy, and with the stay-at-home order, he's had to quickly adapt, not just to keep his academy going, but also to help his athletes continue to improve. So he took his baseball academy at El Cajon and moved it into his garage, and this neighborhood all-star continues to give lessons at no cost. Here's Caleb McMacken. Fox 5 Neighborhood All-Stars, powered by your San Diego County Toyota dealers. And stand still, pass it short and quick. I'm not a camera type of person. I, I don't think I've ever taken a selfie in my life or videotaped myself, but uh, you know, I, I knew that I had to kind of let my, my, you know, let my guard down a little bit, maybe get out of my comfort zone to make sure that I can give something to, the, to our baseball community and, and really more than anything, teach them like, hey, Life's going to throw you this, it's going to throw you that, but we've got to keep going. We've got to keep stay motivated, we've got to keep grinding, and so that's how this little setup came about. Nick Guerra grabbed some turf, cables, and netting to transform his Chula Vista garage into a small training center where he goes Facebook Live four times a week, providing athletes with baseball training tips and exercises. When they shut everything down, I, I knew I had a responsibility to my players, but, you know, to the game of baseball and the baseball community to... Uh, to keep giving them something. Guerra played 10 years as a professional in both independent and Mexican leagues before retiring and starting the Hustle Baseball Academy. We've been fortunate enough to put hundreds of kids into Division One colleges, D2s, four-year universities, junior colleges, and uh, we've had, you know, we have a number of kids right now in the minor leagues. Danny Yanez is a senior outfielder at Grossmont High School who trains with Hustle Baseball and watches Guerra's videos daily. For example, in high school, you know, we had our coaches over the summer, we had uh, Nate there being like physically present mm -hmm. and now it's kind of just you know you're on your own you know figure it out however you can so it really helps out. Disappointed he won't be able to finish his senior season, Yanez says he's using this time to focus on SDSU where he's committed to play next year. You know just the fact that we're not going to be able to finish our season we're not going to have a senior night and everything but I mean I'm just trying to look on the bright side you know it gives me three months to prepare for what comes next you know being um, at San Diego State next year so it just Really trying to work hard and see if I can earn spot. Although the immediate future remains uncertain for athletes and trainers alike, Guerra says he'll continue to create videos, hoping to encourage others. Hopefully, with this interview here gets and, and this whole process helps to inspire families at home to, to, to whether it's following me or whether it's just being creative on their own to, to do something great for their, their family and their community and kind of draw together in this crazy time. Kayla McMacken, Fox 5 Sports.